Yes, it's your boy Fuso DG, and you are now tuned into the best entertainment show on earth right now, giving you all the updates that you need. Stay tuned and don't go nowhere. I got out my girl by the name S A R K O D I E. You know what time it is? I better be pumped, baby. You watching Star Boss? Stay tuned, huh? Now. What up, it's your boy Mr. Addison, aka Q Beats, aka Kill me and you watching Star Boss. Mad. Hey Africa, hey Ghana, my name is Yvonne Nelson, Africa's sweetheart. Keep watching Star Boss. Yo, it's Afro B, Mr. Joanna, Jo, Jo, Joanna, Mr. London, Mr. Ivory Coast, Mr. Worldwide. Right now you're locked into Star Boss TV. 100% entertainment, you know what I'm saying? Hi, my name is Justin Duma, TV host, actress, and a radio presenter all the way from Ghana. I'm chilling out here in Virginia with my boy coaches, and you are watching Starbus TV. Keep it locked. Hey, it's your boy MC Coaches from Starbus TV, 100% entertainment. On this episode, we're going to be discussing VGMA 2020. Who won what and who lost what? Biggest win of the night, obviously, the artist of the year and best performances. Well, let's see what's going to happen today on the show. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and click the like button just to show us some love. You know what time it is. I'm not going to be doing this alone, of course. My good friend D. Wood will be joining me to discuss the 21st edition of the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards powered by Charter House and, of course, sponsored and brought to you by Vodafone Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, stick and stay whilst I bring to you my brother from another mother, D. Wood. Yo, this is Squad Kessie, live on Star Bars. That's what it is. Yeah, Bazzi Bazzi. Wow, bro, damn. Bro, what's good? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? MC coaches. You, you seem excited already. What's good, bro? Oh, Charlie, nothing, 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 my children. As usual, you. as usual, Charlie, respect to you. Star Bars, anytime we count on you, you just show up, you just show us some love, man. That's what's up. So, so what did really happen? Man. How's your weekend? Every weekend, you know, day house, nothing much. Nothing like, much still man. working, you know, we work here from the other job, you know. We got to make this bread, man. You already know what it yeah. is. Yeah, I already know. All right, so so talk to us. What's good? Ghana Music Awards. Did you? It's a two days event. I don't know what's happening today, though, but yeah, Friday, Saturday has been epic. Everything has gone down. We've seen all the winners, we've seen all the losers. And uh, we've seen the, some of the best performances as usual. Some of these artists will never disappoint us. So let's go back That's to true. in a nutshell. First, first of all, first of all, yeah. first of all, a big, a big shout out to all the nominees of VGMA, right? Okay. And thank VGMA for all the hard work that they put into this show, right? And they are just such an amazing show, award show, and for recognizing all the hard work all these artists put in. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta give a big shout out to them, man. It's not easy, man. And uh, building the stage, preparation, with all this COVID that is going on, I think they did a good job. Did a good that's job. Good. Yeah, that's 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 a beautiful one from uh, like, yeah. Um, you know, COVID nineteen couldn't stop the music and couldn't stop the celebration as well. Chatter House, exactly. you know, after twenty years of doing this, you should know they they have a lot of experience and um, yeah, they didn't yeah. disappoint us everything was so on point red carpet and everything so um big big ups to Ch Ch chatter house yeah big up to chatter house uh, respect to them as well so yeah. did you have any disappointments on the night or looking at <laughs> i mean putting everything together let's start on the bad note and go to the good note well the bad notes uh i said some some of the artists uh uh, we expected to be nominated right, for certain uh, categories in South Africa, but I guess me, I'm not Tata House, so yeah. I don't know uh, what my two percent or whatever is gonna, whatever I have to say is gonna uh, really impact it or anything. But at the end of the day, I think they still did a good job. We just need to like move forward, and next time maybe some of these most ones we think you don't make. But yeah. All right, so um, yeah, for me, for me, uh, I, I got disappointed a bit, especially. I mean, I love rap music, so I follow, uh -huh. I follow that category, that best rapper category. I followed it for so long. I'm so passionate about that category. Like, mm -hmm. I, I felt like, like Eno and Strongman 
they 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 stood a chance if i should put it that yeah. way like anka anka and come on mom like they forgive them I, I don't know i don't I, know the nominees you, you, you saw the list right i saw the list i saw the list yeah the best rapper list um i have it here Ear was mm-hmm. in there, medical was in there, Kwesiata was yeah. in there, Paco, the Atif, yeah. Road, strong man, and Enno mm-hmm. And I was yeah. rooting for only two people. I was rooting for Enno and Strongman. Mm-hmm. And, and and I think I will agree with you. I will agree with you on that because honestly speaking, like if you look at the body of work that those two put up, it's been consistent for the past uh, yeah. 2019. Even the yeah. beef, even the beef between medical and and and, and, strong and strongman yeah he, he really brought light to the rap game he brought game. a lot of light to the rap game yes not yes. not saying that it's been down but yeah they really like spiced it up and it, it was fun it was fun it was fun and then they, they, they came back and dropped a, a a song together so like you see like those things spice up the game spice up the entertainment and everything so like yeah it makes it makes the music industry like fun yeah but like you said me, I was going for medical strongman, or you know, if any of those three won. Or oh, you are also have... going for uh, me- medical, yeah. you know, and strongman. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. still, shout outs to the winner, Kwesiata. I mean, it's still, yeah. I mean, he he brought it home. So whichever way me are going to celebrate, I mean, Tema has gotten it this time around. So why not? <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what's up. Mm-hmm. 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 Anyway, so moving on. Another category that personally I was excited about, the reggae okay. dancehall artist category. Uh-huh. Of the year or the, the reggae song? Yeah, reggae dancehall artist of the year. Okay, okay, okay. So J Derby, episode okay. Jupiter, Jupiter, Jupiter. Uh, Samini, Samini, Rascuku, and Rascuku. Yeah. 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 And Rascuku yeah. got that one. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah, Rascuku has paid his dues, I mean, all over. Um, his journey throughout his journey let me put it this way throughout his journey he has been consistent he's been he's been on top of his game and mm-hmm. you know sometimes you see every nominee is a winner in a way yeah it's like you're it winning in, in, in your in your let's say in your category but yeah. if if they bring you up if you if you get a nominee or if you get nominated it means you've won mm-hmm. me i see it yeah. if you get nominated you've won but at the end of the day, the plug has to be given to one person. Right. So, and that is how uh, I feel he's been like somebody like Episode Jupiter, you know, Stone Stone and Shatter <laughs> blocked them at chances for a very long time. And now that the two of them are not in the in the in the scheme, mm-hmm. it's a good chance for them to take advantage and sweep some yeah. plugs and Charlie decorate them at studios and them at houses mm-hmm. with it. It's a beautiful ah, one. Ah, it's ah, a beautiful one. Ah. You know, of course, let me go off topic, right? So, sure. uh, hypothetically, hypothetically, if Shatter and Stone was on this category, who do you think would have won? You see, Shatter and Stone, right? Stone mm-hmm. sticks okay. to the general back to okay. back. That is one okay. thing. Stone sticks to the general back to back. Aside the votes, uh-huh. Stone doesn't joke with the general at all. And that okay. is what why he has one step ahead of Shatter when it comes to reggae dancehall. Okay, okay. That, that's my point. So, so Shatter is Stone, everywhere. Stone would, he have every... Stone would have won again. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what brought the confusion last year. But okay. if they were there again this year, Stone would have won again. Okay. okay. You have any any uh, anything to say about that? No, 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 no. Not at all. You already know. You already know. You already know. Yeah, so moving on, moving on real quick. Let's let's okay. let's move on. Which one again? Which one again are you looking at? Which category? Uh for hey, the, let's look at the it was okay, hip hop song of the year. Um I wasn't really eyeing for that, but I was happy for Kofi Moli. Listen, this 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 year I think the youth the youth are really taking over. The awards is also helping them and they really work right. for it. So Hip hop song of the year, Don't Be Late, is one of my favorite tracks. I listen to he, this. He deserves it. He deserves it. He deserves it. Yeah. He deserves, he deserves it. it. Yeah. Yeah. He deserves I think, it. I think I it was a big fight, though. It was a yeah, big fight. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, like, if you gave it to Kofi or Medical, I wouldn't be mad, honestly speaking. Because, like, if you look at the body of work that Medical has put in the past. Some people yeah, didn't see it going to Kofi Molly at all. Mm hmm. 
Yeah, but I'm sure he's like, good for him. Too. But if you, if you look at the fact that he said hip life slash hip hop, he had both in there. He had the 808 for the hip hop. He had a life uh, high life thing going with all the melodies and everything. So like, mm-hmm. yeah, he deserves it. He deserves it. Yeah, he deserves it. Man. I yeah. had it, man. Probably. If I had the outside, you I had the outside, yeah, I like that. But did you yeah, see his performance? I saw his performance, yes, on Friday. I, 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 was, I, I, I didn't like the part he brought the drink and be spilling it on stage. It was a bit disappointing to me, personally. And and I feel like, said me personally, the choice of song was wrong for that big of a stage. I know said that's probably one of his, one of his biggest songs, but uh, especially with the Nara chair, you, if you get the chance to perform for some of these great people in the audience and everything i think the whole should, world was should, watching them yeah you should choose songs that like you can uh, it will really like be able to cross over and like and then uh, focus on his new thing uh, but i like his craft i like the craft the fact that his his entry on stage was dope mm-hmm. with, a, with a dancer with a truck a wheelbarrow no, it's it's a cart. Oh, yeah. Was it a cart? Oh, he it used a cart, cart. Yeah, he used a cart. The shopping <laughs> cart, right? Yeah, the shopping cart. Yeah. You know the funny thing? He and Kwame Na MP used to do this a lot. Anytime they go to shop, right? This is not the first time I've seen them playing with the cart. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So it's something that they do. Yeah, but that wheelbarrow thing, I think it clicked me because Kwakesi has done it before. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And, no, and, and, and don't forget so when it comes to these crazy performances, right? I thought yeah. it's a different person on his own, man. And yeah, and they have to, to podcast him. And they said all the great ones fall, and he fell on the stage. That he fell on the stage. Yes, because the stage well, got he, he, from his own drink. I say, "Utu Edu, Utu Edu Bonia, Ebi Kawano." Ebi Kawano. Ono ngasa Utu Edu Bonia, Ebi Kawano. Next time, Ebi Kawano. Ebi Kawano. Okay, Molly. Next time, don't bring don't bring alcohol for stage. Charlie, chill. Oh, Do all the chilling God. backstage. Yeah. And come and big up to your manager Pep Junior. You guys doing a lot of work. Congratulations once again on this on this hip hop song of the year award. Charlie, yeah, yeah, give yeah. us more hip hop. Give us more hip hop. So more. more. You, you know, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Good, yeah. hold on. You know, one of my favorite songs from Kofi Moli. He Which did one? that uh, that uh, cover to uh, Rich. Uh, that that one song, Die Young. Yo, that was one of my favorites from him, man. Then okay. I was like, yo. I put a lot of people on that song because I kept on listening and everybody would be like, yo, who's this, who's this, who's this? And I was like, yo, that's Kofi Moli. Uh, that guy, that guy is nice, man. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's one of the features of uh, Ghana, Ghana rap, man. Yeah, Kofi Moli is, is, I mean, he's he's holding it tight for us. Yeah. Respect yeah. to Kofi Moli, man. Yeah, so good. Nice Moving on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. My favorite, my personal favorite, right? The album will be here. Yeah, I said this category, right? Favorite, yes, I said this before in the BGM since last year, and oh. like if any if anybody will attest to it, personally, I said I remember you voted. Of the year, I voted Kitty, right? I voted Kitty. Personally, I said last year I said look, Kitty Kitty's album was number one. Okay, number two was Calvin Boy. Okay, that's okay. what I said. Number three was Kim Promise. Okay. Okay. And uh, number four was Kosiaka. I put this into this category. I don't know who was in the category, but let me check real quick. Best, best album of the year right here. Let's see. Album of the year. So Kim I'm Promise, gonna... Joe yeah. Meadow. Promise and promise oh, your medal. You mention the artist yeah. name, please mention the album title. Okay, can promise as promise your medal, wind of revival, because the other life from Nkrumah, two, but you have a crime made in Ghana, Kitty Shiga, uh, Sarkozy, Black Love, Nasty, Time of God. Those are those were the nominees, and the reason why I said this, like some of these albums should, should have also been on here was because, like. If you listen to Kevin Boy, Kevin Boy, yeah, Kevin Boy, Kevin Boy's time. Well, I guess well, I guess it's not an album. You know, I I stand to be corrected. It was an EP, so I guess it doesn't qualify for that. So, but okay. personally, I thought that that if they had EP of the year, then yeah, you should have been one of them. You should have actually won if they had yeah. EP of the year. Yeah, yeah. But look, looking at that. 
Can Promise did very, very good. His singles that came out before the album, excellent. Uh, then My Lady, Hangover, then Commando, The Made Waves, uh, Joe Meadow. Personally, I listen to Joe Meadow. All the songs on there, powerful. Nyao, Yesu, uh, uh, the other one. A lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, uh, Kosiata, Kosiata, Nobody. One of, one, of, one of my favorite. The other one with a uh, uh, future, uh, the, the boy from South Africa. Excellent. Uh, I think those are my best two songs personally. Uh, yeah. Ochami album. I'm sorry, I didn't. I didn't listen to it. I didn't know that Ochami Kwame had it. You didn't really like it. I di- I didn't. I didn't know that he had it out there. You understand? Okay. I tried to listen to everybody's album, so I started to be corrected. I didn't listen to, so I can't comment on that. Sugar, excellent. Taco Diaz, Black Love. Personally, I should. I think that he should have waited next year to go to the DMV. Yeah, it. I think the album should have waited. I think yeah, it was too early. So like, and and. The songs of the one of my my favorite Broken Heart, second favorite Anna Joe, the other one with uh, uh Disa, excellent excellent songs. And uh, Nazi, I didn't I didn't listen to. I didn't between, know. Yeah, between album. between Kiddy and Kim Promise, who had a world tour with his album? Well, it was Kim Promise. A, a world tour, yeah. So it became Promise. Kitty Dance, they didn't, I don't know, but they didn't, they didn't do Yeah, they it. didn't really go anywhere with that album. Yeah. But, but Kitty won that category. So I think yeah. the person who also deserved album of the year was King Promise. Yes. This, uh, I don't know whether VGM can split the, uh, the award sometimes. Like sometimes I, I think it there could be a tie, tie depending on the votes. It could though. be a tie. Yeah, it could be a tie. That's like, they, they, those, those two body of work was excellent. All right, so let's move on quick. Okay. Best new artist of the year. I really, really love the person that won. Like, this guy, Best he's... Like, I was surprised to see Lord Paper in that category. Lord Paper has been around, like, for a very long time. Everybody said, but, like, but, you know. Okay, I don't know my name, Shadio. Samia, my hit, hit, for at least two, three years. So you want to tell me that Samia is still a new artist? Well, maybe... Everything you were listening way back was probably features. Then he got into the mainstream music. I think, I, I, let's say, he launched himself. So the moment you launch yourself, now you are a full-blown artist. Okay. Your, your songs could be on radio everywhere, but if you don't launch your brand and start, okay. and you know, and and also like we discussed before, these things if you don't file. They don't recognize you, so okay. I think this is the first time he was finding, and he filed for a new artist. So, okay. Familia, okay. Ulenke, Kofimoli, MOG Music, J. Derobi, uh-huh. fine. Mm-hmm. These guys, I know, yes, from 2019, they really stepped into the game as brand new artists okay. in their own thing. But okay. Paper, Charlie, me, I they jump to Lord Paper long time, <laughs> I they jump to his okay. songs long time, yeah, Lord Paper with that. Uh, is it- the or something. I, I, I don't know how to do that. Yeah, I forgot it. Yeah, he has, he has a lot of stuff. Right? is an OG, so man. <laughs> this guy is a talented so OG. <laughs> my whole thing is Tuleke has had a hit. Tule, 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 had, Tule, Tule, Tule was the voice of the street. The, the, the yes, street rocking. Like, and they're so considered so many new artists. But I'm yeah. happy for, I'm happy for Famille. Famille deserved it. I yeah, think yeah, 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 I think. Fact, fact, it was yeah, a good exactly, one. Exactly. It was a yeah. good one. Most okay. So songwriter, songwriter, and Charlie, me, I keep saying, no doubt, um, Kenata Song, keeps proving, right. Kenata keeps proving himself. I think songwriter, there, right? Hey, There's a category. Uh huh. Okay, let's finish this one. First of all, first of all, right? In the category that Kenata is in there, right? It's a competition between Kenata and whoever is in there. Because that one song that he brought out, Charlie, like it was good. It was good. It was yeah, good. That's true. It was good. So and the and songwriter part in there, Charlie. We, we all know say Ghana be when it comes to songwriter, me personally, I think that it's between Aquabua and Kenata. Aquabua and Kenata. So okay. that Kenata Kena, Kenata had the edge on Aquabua at this time. Personally, I think say songwriter of the year, you know, maybe the song that um Akwabwa picked or filed for that particular nominee wasn't strong enough. Yeah. But Kenata's, Kenata's song of the year, Charlie, 
things fall apart. Kubo. Kenata and Son be be dope. It be dope. Gucci, one category, I know one even won't go there, but I don't know. Uh-huh. It was it was really, really, really Afro beat jams back to back. Okay. Afro beat song of the year, this category. Afro beat Afro beat of the year. Let me see. Afro, Afro beat song of the year. They have a Juma by EL, Mia by okay. Kelvin Boy, Nobody okay. by Theater, Zanku by Dope Nation, Pilolo by okay. Beats, All for You, Wendy Shea, mm-hmm. The Bad Man Kitty, Bless Me. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, that's my song. Bless Me, Daco Vibes. Daco Vibes. Um, Nando, Kim Promise. Listen, mm-hmm. this is Afro beats. When we talk Afro beats, eh? Mm-hmm. Nah. You, you understand? This is a general that is taking Ghana music to cross borders back to back. Yes, yes, yes. Commando was everywhere. Fact. Fact. He promised himself this category, period. Okay, okay. I don't know what his fans were doing. Why Why didn't his fans vote? And they, they gave it to Dope Nation. Yo, Dope Nation, big up to you, but this one, yo, no, no. No, I don't but, support but, 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 look, but look at this though, right? I don't support Dope Nation also, because I can I can also argue that Dope Nation, you know, so like because it was more and when he said he didn't deserve to be in this category because I know I've grown a year category with who share new my world category with more. I'm being honest here, like mm-hmm. yeah, maybe uh I know Su Eyo is here. I love that song that when they share song, but no, uh-huh. that, that's that's like some hip life jam somewhere. You know how. You know how his boss writes, uh, 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 Bullet. Bullet yeah. is a hip life guy. Uh-huh. You understand? He get uh-huh. the local steez, so he will give you the local things, make make Ghanaians mm-hmm. love you. But Charlie, we are a music that we can export. Period. Yeah. Man, nobody. You see that nobody? Kusiata guy with Mr. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. You see yeah. Pilolo, be dope. Uh-huh. Bless me. Bless me, Olu. Wow, she that one too. Uh, yeah, personally, me, my favorite, uh, my top three for that uh, particular category, you know what? Me, uh, nobody, and then uh, personally, your, your top three, uh, my top three, yeah, for that category, you know, me, uh, nobody, uh, and Zanku. But I know if you compare Zanku to Commando, but you see, Commando is also after this, right? But on the because it was danceable, and uh, at that time, not trend in here, that's the cool It's not about, you so see, nice. it's not about dance, bro. It's about Afrobeat period. That's a, it's a song that we, are, you know, you know that Mia wasn't danceable, right? No, it wasn't. Yeah, it's an Afrobeat jam, beautiful jam. But okay. Yeah, so me, Zanku disappointed me <laughs> to win. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's about votes. They are fans of and their fans mm-hmm. voted for them. Can promise Charlie Nabeg, Q beats or Hini, uh, everybody in the team. Uh, Le- work. Legacy life, you guys, Charlie, for Ginger, the fans made in the vote because put in the work, put in the work. Put I, think, the work. I think that's one, his, I think that's one his, thing that remember his performance with um, his performance with on stage with Daku vibe, Charlie, beautiful yeah. performance, of course, of course. performing is here. Performance, performance you know, he, they are one of the nicest ones for the night. Of so, course, of course. Yeah, so moving on, let's, let's, straight, let's just jump straight to the biggest one because time okay. is fast moving. Okay. The biggest one, the biggest one. Africa of the year. Opium gate. to How's it going? Really? Second? Control me, really? That'll be the part I want to hear. Yo, big up to Kwame Uji. Kwame Uji, he really worked hard, though. He worked, he worked hard, but... Okay. The, the category was tight. Was tight because they had the boss of all bosses sitting there quietly. Mm-hmm. For the fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they had... You see, Kwame Uji had... Diana, Diana Hamilton, yes, she worked very hard. We appreciate that. She won, okay. she won, she won for the gospel side. That's so good. Okay. So Kwame, Kwame's threat was medical and Kofi Kinata. Okay. So like, if anybody for take, I, I was going to root for Kofi Kinata. Okay. Okay. But me too, I feel like that one person was missing in this category. Who? CD. Well, maybe he didn't file for it. Maybe he oh, was not interested. Okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's a record label deal, you know? Maybe it's a plan. Okay. 
they decided that they are not going to support you. Know. Okay. So, so me, Artists of the Year, a lot of people are disappointed on Facebook, social media, everywhere. I'm, I'm also disappointed, I'll be very honest. But still, big up to Adama boy. Kwame Yuji, big up to you, big up. Charlie, you put in all the work. Your, your songs will be from me. Sorry? Medical should have taken it. But Medical took the hip-hop artist, which I was very okay. You see, every night, be a Medical supposed to take something home. He works for it, his yeah, family. But, but, but sometimes, you're supposed to take everything. Because like, yeah, he, 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 everything he deserves. That's why. That's why I was like, even the um, best rapper side cry, like medical for just courage. I want to join. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you would moving on. Best performance of the night. Personally, you know I'm a live person, right? Sure. So it's between two people. It's, it's between two people. Uh, from Friday, Calvin Boy. Saturday, in front of Zako Vice. Okay. Okay. So how how oh. do you think about Eno's performance? Eno's performance was excellent too. Sure. Eno's performance was excellent. Yeah, I like I like the way she started. Came out spitting all the bars, man. Eno like, you know, is sick though. Like yo, remember the the argument that we were having yesterday? Yeah, I remember that one. Yo, like the top number I said Eno will battle any guy in it. Rap game, man. You kill everybody, man. I know that. We'll, we'll, we'll leave that topic for another day. We'll bring Castro okay. on the show. We'll bring yeah, someone yeah. else on the show, and we'll discuss. Yeah. So, so mm-hmm. well, mm-hmm. all in all, it's been a very beautiful show. VGMA yeah. twenty yeah. or twenty first edition of VGMA, uh, yeah. the year twenty twenty. It's been it's been a beautiful year. So, uh, Richie Richie Mensa of um, Links Entertainment. Uh, Kwame Eugene's boss, he posted something on Facebook and he was he was trying to outline the things Kwame, Kwame really did within the year. Okay. That, that makes him... Like, he's trying to prove a point that Kwame Eugene really deserved it. Okay. So Richie, okay. Mensa, Richie Mensa said, he posted this, he said, let me read it loud. He said, three okay. years, right? Three years in the uh-huh. game. He dropped 15 singles. Okay. He dropped one album. He dropped 21 okay. music videos. Okay. He got 127 million views on YouTube. Okay. He got 17 million streams on Spotify. Okay. He got 10 million streams on Apple Music. Okay. 5 million streams on Boom Play. 5 okay. headline concerts. Like concerts that he okay. was the headline artist. Okay. He got 12 Ghana 12 Ghanaian awards in general of every type of award. Kwame okay. 12 awards. Mm-hmm. Seven international awards. He okay. got over fifty nomination award nominations. He got over fifty, okay. and he got okay. over two hundred. Wow, this guy has a deep catalog. He has over two hundred performances. Okay, and he has three ambassadorial deals, all within three years. This is powerful. So big up, big up, Kwame Eugene. Congrats. The story so far is there's a beautiful story. Everybody appreciates you. And this guy, this guy, he's he's kind of taking the, you know, Achame, no, not Achame Kwame. Um, Amachi Dede. Amachi Dede Kwame, the hip uh, life king. Next hip life king. And um, uh-huh. he's on that journey. So, I mean, big up to Kwame Yuji. From from Starburst TV. TV. Yeah, from Starburst TV, we say big up to you, Kwame Yuji. What's up? Yeah, so... Yep, yep, yep. Yo, we're trying to wrap up. We're trying to wrap up. It's been a beautiful discussion, performances, nominations, awards. What we thought was cool for us, we said our views. I mean, opinions are like what you already know. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this one, don't forget to subscribe to Starbucks TV right there. Show us some love. Click on the like button, and I will bring you more entertainment stuff as usual. Enjoy your day. It's your boy Fuso DG and you are now tuned into the best entertainment show on earth right now giving you all the updates that you need stay tuned and don't go nowhere I got out my girl by the name that say R-K-O-D-I-E you know what time it is I better be pumping you watch the star boss stay tuned huh now what up it's your boy Mr. Addison aka Q-Beats aka Kill Alumi and you watch the star boss mad
Hey Africa, hey Ghana, my name is Yvonne Nelson, Africa's sweetheart. Keep watching Starburst.